Welcome to Kramer's VS88UT All-in-One Presentation System. Before watching this video, we recommend that you take a look at the quick start guide supplied with the product. The VS88UT is configured using the product's web pages. Be sure that the power and status LEDs are lit green and not flashing. If they're flashing, the system is not yet ready. When the status LED is green, open an internet browser and enter 192.168.1.39 in the address bar. This is the default IP address of most Kramer products. The VS88UT web pages are open, displaying the main routing matrix page. This page includes most of the system configurations, such as routing all the video, audio, RS-232, IR, and USB signals from any input to any output. This page also enables management features, including audio embedding and de-embedding, auto switching, audio follow video, video patterns, audio only mode, and mute unmute of HDMI and audio signals. The second web page is the room controller view, which displays the controller configuration. The first time you access this page, you will see a blue screen specifying that no configuration is currently available. Refer to the K-Config and Room Controller tutorial for more information by clicking Download the K-Config Configurator software from here. At the top of the page, you'll be able to install K-Config on your machine. The third web page refers to the EDID view. This page enables you to visualize the EDID of your outputs and copy them to inputs. As you can see, the EDID page is divided into two sections. On the left, you can see the EDID of the inputs, outputs, default, and external file. Inputs gives you a view of the EDID actually active on the inputs. Outputs reflects the EDID of the TV, screen, projector, or any equipment connected on an output. Default shows the default EDID supplied by the system. External file enables selecting an EDID file from your computer and copying it to an input. Let's say for example, copy the EDID of output 1 to input 1. The copy EDID operation works as follows. Click output in the far left of the EDID page in order to choose an EDID from a screen connected to HDMI, output 1 for instance. Select Output 1 first as the EDID source, and then on the right side, select Input 1 as the EDID destination. Now that the Copy button has become active, click it to finalize the action. The fourth web page is Device Settings. On this page, you can configure the name of the VS88UT, the security mode and password for accessing web pages and the firmware, which you can upgrade by supplying a firmware file. The fifth page is for configuring network settings. Here you can change the device's IP address to another static IP address or enable DHCP. The control port of the device can also be configured here. The sixth and final web page is the About page, which displays the current web version and Kramer contact information. Thanks for watching.